collectors and vendors couldn't be happier. When we last saw the Man of Steel, he was laid out for his own funeral. But now he's back. Or is he? DC Comics' Adventures of Superman, issue 500, hit Saskatoon today, marking the return of the Superman storyline. This is one character I think everybody grew up with, so uh, there's a lot of interest in what we've been doing, particularly since uh, we've had uh, a lot of interest generated. Pipe surrounding Superman's return. 8th Street Books has ordered over 1,700 copies, its largest shipment ever of a single comic book. And business is brisk, selling 126 copies in the first half hour. Lots of people think that it's going to be worth something, which potentially it is as well. Um, hopefully everybody who buys it will read it, because it's the story I think that's important. You got three copies, how come? Well, I'm going to keep one for myself, and hopefully the other two will be worth something someday. So what's good about Superman? The uh, basic uh, quest for truth, justice, and the American way, it's just nothing simpler than that. You know, they're bringing a major character back from the dead. I don't know how they're doing it. It really doesn't matter, but uh, the whole point is he's alive, and I'm glad. To make the book even more attractive for collectors, there's two editions. Uh, the collector's edition is bagged with a card and also has a special translucent cover. And the uh, normal newsstand edition is just a uh, regular comic. For fans, the death of Superman was just a beginning. Superman 500 introduces four beings, all claiming to be the Man of Steel. Um, in two weeks, um, uh, the four comics come out presenting the new characters, and each character gets its own, uh, their own title. So uh, there's going to be, I think there's going to be the whole thing with the four of them competing to see who gets to be Superman. Is Superman back? Only the writers and artists know. What's next for Superman? Uh, that's secret. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Jennifer Warren, STV News.